everyone, Mary Lou Andre back again for another edition of Dressing Well Wednesday. Three tips in under three minutes to inspire everyday style. Before we get started today, I wanted to share an announcement. Yesterday, we started a Facebook group called Beyond Dressing Well. If you're liking the tips that we're covering in this video series, I think you're going to love the Facebook group. We'll be taking a deeper dive into some of these topics. You'll be able to interact with one another, share your own tips, get to know our stylist team a little bit more, and we'll also be talking about fashion and fundraising and self-care. We'd love to have you be part of that conversation. So head over to Facebook, do a search on Beyond Dressing Well, and it should take you right to the group. So in terms of today's topic, I thought with Halloween in a few days, and also all of us still stuck at home more than we probably like and eating more than we usually do. I know that's the case in my home anyway. I thought we would do how to dress five to 10 pounds thinner. The first thing that I do when somebody comes to me and says, I'm a little bit up on my weight, I'm not feeling that great in my overall look, is we talk about foundation pieces. Now, it's always great to have the right things on under your clothes, but the foundation pieces I'm talking about today are those three, four, five core pieces in your wardrobe that allow you to put them on, feel better, and to start managing the days when you have a few extra pounds on you. For example, this black dress is a workhorse in my wardrobe, all one color, from shoulder to hem, the knit fabric that really does give you a little bit of wiggle room is just a wonderful way to dress all one color from shoulder to hem when you wanna create that strong vertical as opposed to horizontal line. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is all about fit. And I'm often surprised that women that are struggling with their weight, struggling with style, struggling with really owning the room, owning their look, feeling more confident and jazzed, dismiss fit in a way that definitely backfires on them. For instance, I have these two jackets here. They're the same jacket. One is a petite and one is a regular. I know it's very hard to see on the screen, but the petite, jacket, the petite small, fits me. I'll put it on to show you. Such a difference when you have something on that the button fits at the waist, gives that slim look right where you need it. The sleeves are a little shorter and you can roll them to even customize the fit more. And the overall look of it just works. The small jacket, not a petite, the small regular and this from the same manufacturer is much longer everywhere, sleeves, torso. And I put this on and I start to drown in it, which naturally adds extra pounds to my frame. So too big or too small, both of them can make you look five to 10 pounds heavier than you are. The last and final tip is I got this from my friend Ellie. So if you're watching Ellie, thank you. She always says she goes on a scarf diet. When she's feeling a little not her best right through here, she throws on a scarf. She can throw it over her shoulder if she wants, but she says it just makes her feel much more confident when she's hiding those extra pounds that she doesn't really want to show the world. So I hope one or two of these tips resonated with you and you have a few ideas to practice in your own wardrobe. Again, please jump over to our Facebook group if you're interested in that, and we'll see you back next week. Happy Halloween, and if you do indulge in a couple of pieces of chocolate, like I know I will, remember, just grab a scarf. All right, have a great rest of the day Wednesday. See you next week. See you later. Bye-bye.